Jess here. I just want to share with you what's going on with the sun. Probably why you feel so tired and drained. I've felt this for a while. I don't know why I know this. I just know this. Okay. As we transition from the third dimensional reality to a hyperdimensional existence, we are experiencing recalibration of the mind, soul, body being, soul being. This process has accelerated in 2016, now sees us an intense period of recalibration through 2017 into the next six, seven years. This activation of cellular reconstruction, a quantum makeover, has been triggered by cosmic waves of light energy flowing through and around our planet for she too is recalibrating, rising her frequencies. This process has been triggered and monitored. We have been guided as if as a planet and individuals protect and heal. The transition from the third dimension existence to a multi-dimensional living is tricky and challenging. Highness of intense creative sur energy surges followed by deep lows of blurry head, physical tiredness, cool short-term memory and tearful moments. We may feel internally conflicted, like we are being pulled in different directions. We may be more aware of control dramas others are playing out around us. We may see through the lies and manipulation of people in society in our way, in a way we never did before. This can be disconcerting, confusion and le confusing, and leave us feeling under the weather, tired, restlessness. As our body recalibrates, we need to rest, stay hydrated, and eat well. We are moving from a linear existence in the third dimension to a hyperdimensional reality, where time is quantum. We will exist in the past, present, and future simultaneously. This is the fifth dimension, full of love, abundance, flow, and balance. As we transition the move between the third and the fourth dimension during sleep, our dreams allow our spirits to free from the dense vibrations of the body into the third dimension. We may experience timelines that slippage or acceleration. And this is a rare and incredible celestial event a unique opportunity to release karma and evolve. Some signs you are experiencing recalibration of your soul, mind, body and soul system. Your body is changing. You're more sensitive to chemical based products, skin irritations, allergies. You cannot tolerate synthetic foods the way you used to. You experience aches, pains, colds, flu, stomach bubs, blurry vision, popping and buzzing in your ears, unusual headaches. Your mind is expanding. You are actively filtering out news, trying to disconnect from fear and depression it generates. You have woken up to the much of the lies and deceit played out in the global politics. You are remembering childhood passions, creative outlets you have enjoyed but forgot about. Your soul imprint is changing. You are seeking quieter ways of being. You are in the process of having to shed friends, colleagues, family who bring down your, vib your vibrations down. Social media does that when you look at, go for, look at the likes every minute or a comment. You are drawn to meditation, yoga, healing therapies, being in that nature in a way you never have been before. You are aware of fluctuations of your, in your perception of time. As we disconnect from the matrix, the holographic third dimension, flowing with surges in cosmic waves, we feel the mind, body, soul recalibration, and it's not easy. Many people are restricting to what their diet Cutting out wheat, gluten, meat, dairy products, and they move towards organic, non-GMO food speaks to this. The fight to stop the side eye also shows the movement of awakening to the poisons of the matrix. The food weapon agenda is inclusively recognised and fought against. Alternative holistic remedies to the matrix made illnesses like cancer drive the battle for freedom and disconnection from the cabal's hole and of the third dimension. All of this adds up to a bumpy ride, friends. We were to rise above the matrix, rise our vibrations in alignment with gear, and yet still exist in the matrix, to be grounded, mindful, living in the third dimension life, while simultaneously obtaining connectedness to the frequency of the multiverse of love and universal oneness. The law of free will dictates our freedom to choose, therefore, if we want help, we must ask for it. There are many benevolent beings whose own history interconnects with the Earth's evolution, along with our guides. They are willing and able to help ease this tricky transition process. Mediate, connect and ask for protection, guidance and healing during this intense period of upgrade. Just be careful who you ask for help from is what I'll say on that one. Just be very careful. 
Realignment of our chakras to the higher frequencies of the cosmic ascension is in the heart of cal recalibration. Balancing the soul, body and mind trinity, we are ex evacuating the root chakra, rebalancing our sacral chakra, powering up the solar plexus, opening and living through the heart, projecting our authentic selves through the throat and activating our third eye and crown chakra. We seek alignment to the root crown. Self-care of the modus operandi of the day. This was ground zero. Politically and economically, we are all working harder, fighting a corrupt system, plagued through mainstream media with war, destruction, fear, horror. This is a masses of tickets, tough, sticky, dark energy to wade through, all the while fighting our own karmatic loads through mediation and upgrades. This requires a change in contextual perspective for many of us. The capitalist matrix dictates work, work, compete, feel inferior, work, work, compete. This is all not conductive to self-care. So how to navigate these stormy, challenging times? I don't have a great words for wisdom. Family keep me mindful and beautiful present. Soul tribe keeps me laughing. Home is my haven. Mediation keeps me sane. We signed up to this. Either as a light worker here on the cosmic and a personal mission or soul riding to come and great release waves on planet Earth as its panopticon prison crumbles. This is a rare, momentous, incredible time to be alive and breathing here. When you kick back someday in a starship lounge enjoying cosmic cocktails, this isn't this the lifetime you and your tribe will be reminiscing about. This is a lifetime with peaks and thoughts, waves, intense growth, freedoms, freedom, towards freedom, unique experience and true beauty of a planet, the human experience. This is a lifetime we will all remember. The one where we cleared hundreds of lifetimes worth of karma. This is it, friends, the big one. Be in the present with your children. Don't call your children kids. Kids are goats. Your friends, your pals, the people love and be loved. Rest when often as you can. Stay hydrated and remember it's happening to a lot of us. The forces awaken, the red pillows peel swallow. Kansas is going bye bye and the new earth is where we're headed. Stay relaxed, beautiful people. Be calm and go with the flow. Mediate and give yourself some love. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you're still here. Raise your vibrations and just remember wherever you are in the world you're loved. So good evening, good night or good morning, wherever you are. Much love. Bye.